Welcome to Season 6! We will be starting off this season of Cinema Sisters by reviewing the Harry Potter movies. First, we will be reviewing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Let's see which house you're in. The Hat knows all. Ow! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let me think. Slither? No! No, thank you! Definitely a Gryffindor. Mm -hmm. This movie is about Harry Potter and his first year at Hogwarts, where he works to thwart Voldemort's first evil plan. Um, my favorite character, at least in this movie, is Hermione Granger because she's really smart and um, really brave. My favorite characters in this particular movie were Fred and George because they were really funny and they were really welcoming to Harry when he was getting into his first year at Hogwarts. I would recommend this movie for ages 8 and up because it was really kid friendly, um, there were not a lot of swears, and it was pretty easy to understand, especially if you had already read the books. Um, I recommend this movie for 6 and up because um, when you're 7 years old you can really take on um, that feeling of fame and stuff that Harry is getting, and um, when you're set 7 you're really starting to read those big chapter books. So. If you read it, you'll really understand it. I would rate this movie five clap points because I've seen the movie um, twice, and seeing it twice can really help you understand it. And um, I love seeing Harry um, when he was really young and eleven, because you can see um, him growing and developing. I would rate this movie four popcorns because I did like it a lot. I thought it was very good and very similar to the book. But there were a couple of minor details that did not so much align with the book that made me kind of feel like, oh, I wish, I really wish that these things were the same as they were in the book. My burnt curl was the fact that, first of all, Harry's eyes were blue instead of green, and his eyes are green, and that his scar is on the side of his forehead when it's in the center of his forehead. I um, only have one burnt curl. Um, I think that... Um, Harry should have been saying more detail on the book because I did read um, the first three chapters, but then I got bored, so <laughs> That's a wrap this episode of Cinema Sisters. Tune in next time when we review Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And if you'd like to contact us, please visit us at inputcinemasisters.org where you can vote on if you want us to review the Star Wars saga or the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And we hope to see you next week. Where's Simone now? Already missing out on season six. I'm coming to get you, Draco Malfoy. <laughs>